It is a wonderful Sabbath uh, where we praise the Lord just because we have said that it is softly and tenderly calling. I would want to softly and tenderly call you to go beyond all limits in giving. God is calling you that you may accept him as your creator and the owner of everything that you have and decide to honor him with what that, that is in your possession. So I invite you that you may go as an individual beyond all limits in your giving. And for you to go to that limit, there are some things that you must acknowledge. First, you must acknowledge that you as an individual, you belong to God. And all that you have belongs to God. Another thing is that you must know that it is the Lord who has provided you with all the resources that you have. That one means you acknowledge that it is God who gives you power to get wealth. That is, as said to us in Deuteronomy 8 verse 18, that it is the Lord who is giving you power to get wealth. When you are doing business, it is God who is giving you power to get customers. When you are in college, it is God who is giving you power to get good grades. When you are working, it is God who is giving you power to get promotion. And because of that, you will decide to praise the Lord with your substance. I invite you to acknowledge that uh, you need also to compare what you do in the family and what you do to the Lord. Look at what David is doing in 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 1 through 3. 2 Samuel, verse 1 through 3, David is saying this. 2 Samuel 7, 1 to 3. Now it came to pass when the king was dwelling in his house and the Lord had given him rest from all his enemies all round, that the king said to Nathan the prophet, See now, I dwell in a house of cedar, but the ark of God dwells inside tent curtains. David is looking at himself in the palace and saying, the wood that is making the place where I live are quality material. And I feel ashamed when I compare where I live with the house of the Lord. And then he says in verse 3, then Nathan said to the king, go do all that is in your heart. This is to contrast how you do your personal expenses and how you give to the Lord. Compare the house you live and how things are organized and compare that. Contrast it with what you see in church. Do you feel pained because you want the church to succeed? David is saying in Psalm 132, Psalm 132, verse 3, sorry, uh, 132, verse 3 through 5 says, Surely I will not go into the chamber of my house or go unto the comfort of my bed. I will not give sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids until I have find, sorry, until I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling place for the mighty one 
of Jacob. David is saying, I will not rest till the church of God is beautiful. I will not slumber when I give a place to the Holy One of Israel. This one means the pity you have for the church of God will push you to give to God beyond all limits. You will look at the situation of your local church and say, I need to give my time. You will look at the situation of your local conference, of your union, of your division, of your entire church, and say, I want my church to reveal the glory of the Lord. This is what David is saying, I will not rest till my Lord is exalted. That is why I invite you to acknowledge three things. That you yourself, you belong to the Lord. All that you have belongs to the Lord. Again, the Lord is the one who is giving you power to get wealth. All that you have is from the Lord. Then have pity. Have deep love for the church of God. And with that, you will sing to the Lord. You will be joyful when you see yourself worshiping the Lord with all that you have. Worshiping the Lord with all your heart. Giving yourself to the Lord. Giving all that you have to the Lord. And saying that, Lord, you can make me have much more. Because it is you who blesses me. And because of that, finally, I say that because of that, you will always be singing to the Lord, praising the Lord because the Lord does great things to those who are his. Just trust him and see the salvation of the Lord. He will provide until you will have nothing to do except to sing unto the Lord. That is why we are saying, let all those who have breath praise the Lord. May God bless you.